Hello. So I broke a string on my ukulele when I was tuning it for the first time. And right-handed, which I'm holding it right-handed right now, it should be G, C, E, A. So the broken string should be the A string. Now I was just tuning it this morning and it can only get so tight before it um, snaps, obviously, because it's a string. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I was tuning it and this wouldn't stop obsessing about being an A string. It kept being tuned to an A string and it should be a G string and if I were to tune this tight from the letters, uh, the musical progression goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are the only notes. So my only option would be to tune it down, which would give a very weak sound, or to tune it as an A string. So we have A, C, E. And it's inside a tune already, but... And of course, also, because I messed up the dot, uh, the first fret is kind of... The first fret is kind of what, what the dot is. So actually, that sounds good. Um, so if I get, get my capo, and put the capo on the first uh, fret, and we have... So anyways, my point originally was that I was, I basically tuned it to a left-handed, one string broken guitar for standard tuning. Anyways, it, it makes a sound. <laughs> That's what is important. And you can totally work with that. Like, I'm not a master musician, um, but this is something you could totally work with. Capo is very good for things, there's something I learned just now. Capo is good if your dot is too high or something low. Too low. If your dot is not high enough, you need a capo. So right now I'm playing a left-handed ukulele with my right hand.
There's that.